Okay, um, welcome. This is Martin from Cyber51. Today's little video is about um, doing research on Google, um, you know, as part of a penetration test, as part of the information gathering phase, as part of individual investigations. A couple of things I would like to show you here. So first of all, Google is very powerful in finding information and it probably knows more than you think. Um, one thing I would like to show you is, for example, the site command. Site command allows you um, to just um, view sites, for example, .co.uk. So now you only get results from .co.uk domains. So in other words, 892 million search results just from the UK. Now, um, you can also, let's say I want a specific uh, company from, from, from the UK, like flame.co.uk. And now I get only the results from that domain, right? So, uh, which, which, which is pretty cool, which is pretty nice because that helps me if I do a penetration test against a company or something like that. I can combine that um, with the file type command. So file type, so for example, PDF. Now I'm only looking for PDFs and I'm down to 72 results. So I'm looking for PDF files on the domain flame.co.uk, for example, okay? Um, if you do a security audit or something like that, you may want to include like uh, confidential for example, because now you get, you would get files where they are um, branded as confidential or have the confidential keyword in there. So uh, that's not the case with this domain, which is pretty good. Um, and you know, like the file types, you, you, you can interchange them. Like you, you can look for an XLS for, for an Excel spreadsheet. If there's any, let, let's choose another domain. Let, let's, let's choose cisco.com or something. And then all Excel files, yeah, here you go. See, like all Excel files um, on the Cisco.com website, or um, you could look, for example, for for um, PDFs or text files or doc files. Let's have a look for doc files. And then we get Microsoft doc um, files. So the, the um, file type and the site command are very, very useful in, in finding out information. Um, a couple of other things. So for example, um, you can also look, for example, for SQL dump files. So if someone has done an SQL database dump, so I would simply type in my SQL and then I want to look for dump and then file type, type, um, file type SQL. So here we go, and then we have SQL dump files, so database dump files, which should never be indexed by Google. <laughs> but uh, unfortunately, uh, some people do that and are not aware of the security implications this can have. So there are hundreds of, of different search operators in Google, and I mean, this, this video is very small, so I, I only want to highlight a few of them. Uh, there's something called the uh, Google Dorks. So let me just show you that. And that's on the exploitdb.com. So people, volunteers have put something called the Google Hacking Database together with all those search queries. So for example, if you have a, a look here, um, files containing usernames, for example, sensitive directories, web server detection, vulnerable files, things like that. And so let, let's just pick a random one here. So let's have a look in URL root, etc, past WD, right? Um, now let's search that on Google. And then we, oops, we instantly get like uh, the etc pass wd file from certain uh, companies here and, and even from the government in India. Um, please do not abuse this information. This is purely for e educational purposes. Um, you're completely responsible for your own actions here. Uh, we're just showing you how to, to use Google search operators. So that Google Dorks, Google Hacking Database is, qu is quite useful. Um, and should be part of any pen any penetration test um, because people probably don't even know that a lot of information already leaked out on Google and they're even not aware of that. Uh, something else I would like to show you quickly is the so-called archive.org website. Maybe you guys are familiar with it, maybe you're not. Um, it's basically taking snapshots of all websites over, over years and years and years. So for example, if you go in cisco.com here, and take me back 
and then you will get like all the different snapshots over time see for example if you want to see well we're in 2013 now right if you want to see how the cisco website looked in 2000 and just just pick a snapshot here and then you get the cisco website from the year 2000 quite different than today so it was a smaller company and now it has grown it's it's quite helpful in in, in researching you know like information like historic information press releases and things like that so this this can be um quite helpful as part of a penetration test as well um even though they have changed the website they have or like a company has changed the website has taken the content offline it may still be on archive.org so something very important to keep in mind okay um we hope you found that video useful and we look forward to seeing you in one of our other videos thank you very much